Hello and welcome to my new video regarding Bitcoin. This time I would like to discuss about Bitcoin and gold and explain why so many people, me included, are thinking that Bitcoin will replace gold as store of value in the future. In fact, I, I, hope, I think and I hope if you heard about Bitcoin, you heard also about the terms the new gold or even better, the digital gold or the new store of value. So let's look first about gold. So gold since 5,000 years is the first store of value worldwide recognized by everyone. And which is the reason behind? The reason behind is not because it's good looking for decoration or for jewelry, but it's because it's scarce. So it's, it, it is its scarcity that make gold the first store of value, nothing else. And why is scarce? Firstly, because it's scarce by nature. Secondly, because uh, it's very hard to mine, to, pro to produce gold, and the process of mining is very expensive. So it's also hard to mine gold, to, to produce gold, and still be profitable. That is why gold became the store of value, and it's much more scarce than other metals, like uh, copper, like bronze, like steel, that uh, we have interacted in, in our history as human beings. And in the last 5,000 years, gold became the store of value. In fact, it's estimated that uh, every year the inflow, the percentage inflow of uh, gold versus the actual availability is uh, one, between 1 and 2.5% every year. And there is also a ratio called stock to flow, and it counts how many years it will take with the current inflow to generate uh, the same amount of gold that is available at the moment. At the moment, gold, uh, the stock to flow ratio for gold is 62. It means that it takes 62 years to produce with, with the current ratio to produce the same gold that we currently have. And no other metal have the same as so high stock to flow. Now let's look at about Bitcoin. Bitcoin started in 2008. And at the, at the, when it started, uh, there was it was possible to mine 50 Bitcoin every 10 minutes. It was a, it's an algorithm. And it's um, written that uh, every 10 minutes, 50 Bitcoin. Every four years, so 2012, 2016, 2020, it, it happened this called halving. It means that uh, the amount of Bitcoin produced every 10 minutes is cut by half. So in 2012, is, um, will be, it was uh, 25, then uh, 2016, 12.5, and 2020, now we, we are at 6.25. With 6.25 Bitcoin every 10 minutes produced, the current stock to flow of Bitcoin is 57. But in 2024, it will be the half, so 3.125. So in 2024, Bitcoin will become much more scarce than gold. And in 2028, even double. The scarcity will double every four years. So that's why Bitcoin will become it's a better asset. One reason why Bitcoin is a new, a better store of value than gold, because it's scarcity, it will become more scarce. And secondly, because it will become finite. In fact, to be the perfect store of value, it should be finite so that it, the item it appreciates with time. Before gold, there was seashells or special stones from our ancestors. And they decide on that as store of value because they were scarce. In fact, uh, when, is, uh, when an item is not scarce, if uh, the price goes up, then the, also the production, the supply goes up and the price go down again. For having an appreciation over time, it means to, the perfection will be to be finite and if not, will be as much scarce as possible. And Bitcoin at this moment is scarce. It will become even more scarce. It will, in 2024, will become even more scarce than gold, then much more than gold. And in 2140, it will become finite. That is the best um, situation for an asset to be um, considered a store of value. Because when an asset is finite, if the demand, the demand, demand increase, there cannot be an increase of supply. So the price will go up. So that's the first reason why so many people think that Bitcoin will replace gold. There will be many other reasons. There are many other reasons. I will also explain more about why Bitcoin is, a, the, uh, the technology of Bitcoin is superior to anything um, else considering money in our history. And this I will explain more in the next videos. Thanks for uh, hearing this and see you next time.